Come va, ragazzi? <laughs> How's it going, people in Italian? Um, hello. I don't know. I haven't even, I haven't even, I'm just so happy because I know you're happy and I know oh, that yeah. in the office, Turkish now. <laughs> We've not seen him for half an hour. Yeah. Like, we have no idea where he is. Um, just wait, just before, just before we start, just so you guys know that are watching, this was supposed to be a James and Turkish fan cam. Yep, as you can see, he's not here. He's ran out of the building, oh, don't know where he is. I've been ringing his phone. I didn't think he was that sort of guy to leave us, you know, just doing... No, oh, I think he's just vibing, trying to have a good time, to be fair. But, but, yeah. but, but right, um, let's, let's, let's get into the game, talk James. About the game. Let's talk about it. So, before the game, be honest. Yep. Were you confident you was going to win? Listen to that voice. You're, yeah, you're, I've lost my voice a bit. Um, no, no, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't confident we'd win. I, I thought we'd turn up, have a lot of the ball, play well. Mm. Um, but win, yeah, they're a good side. They've got two proper centre-backs. Mm -hmm. um, they're a good side. They're organised. That first half... We found it really difficult to break them down. You can see we had the ball. Every time they came forward, we won it back on the press. We recycled possession, went again. But we're missing something. Yeah. And I just thought, this is going to be one of those nil-nils. They might nick a, a set piece, one nil Turkey, something like that. Mm. Or it'll be something awkward that wins yeah, you the yeah. game. And in fairness, it was in the second half. But I'll credit Italy a bit more because they look sharper. They came out a lot better in the second half. Um, Berardi gets his full back one-on-one, -on -one, gets the one in the box. And when you put this into a dangerous area, anything can happen. Ricochets off and one nil, and by that point, Italy in total control. To be fair, but do you think that own goal opened up the game for Italy? Is that what you think? Yeah. That's what they need. It just relieves the stress, the pressure. About a minute later, I think uh, uh, Insigne held the, held the ball up, knocked it into Jorginho, and he one time pass put our full back through. Mm. I, I, th I think those are the players involved. But the point is, we never got in behind like that in the first half. Mm. So you can see at that point, Turkey had to open up, and there was space to exploit. Second goal, I'm sorry to oh, the Immobile one, again, bit lucky, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But then that third goal is, you pick him off and the space is there. And what a finish from Insigne. Oh, so that's, class. you know, Italy's game plan, if you want to call it. It was a real game plan, we, we went out to play, but it worked. Once, mm. once we got that first goal, I opened up and we picked them off. And I, I thought they were excellent today. Insigne was, I thought, superb throughout the yeah, game. Probably was. my man of the match, but who was your man of the match for today's game? Well, I, I did give a sh on, on the stream, I, I did give a shout out to Insigne because I thought he was the one who, if anything was going to happen, to come through him. Mm. But in fairness, the, the change at fullback in, at half time worked quite well for us. Berardi got more on the ball. But actually, I thought Jorginho's quality, he looked like. I <laughs> love the fans out there. The um, yeah. I thought Jorginho, everything went through him. Mm. And some of the passes he was finding into midfield, into Barella, Insigne picked up pockets um, oh, up front, Immobile when he yeah, dropped yeah, back. Yeah. I just thought, yes, I could see how they played to Jorginho's strengths there. Mm. Um, so it was good. Listen, I don't think it was a statement win in the sense that... 3-0? not a statement win, I think. I've, I'm, not, um, I'm not taking the piss, honestly. We didn't pepper their goal. Maybe in the second half, once we went one and up and we opened them up a bit, fine. I don't think it was one of those all-conquering performances where you yeah. thought it could have been 5, 6, 7, 8. It wasn't like that. We were very effective. We were very good on the ball. 3 0 is probably about right for the amount we dominated possession Fair. and how much better we looked. But we didn't pepper their goal, we took our chances. Um, you know, a good side will stop Italy by limiting those chances. Are you confident that you're going to top the, top the group? Well, you hope so after a 3 0 win. And, you know, I could see the other three teams taking points off each other, draws here and there. You know, uh, three points in a, you know, a four team group goes a long way. So, um, yeah, I'm confident. Happy and happy with today, yeah, you're happy? Of course, man, what a way to open the Euros. And, and actually, taking the Italy hat off for a sec, the Italy jump, the Italy merch, um, it was a good opening game, it some was. good football. And I think I remember the France game in five years ago, it was a bit awkward, you know, mm. France couldn't regain to it, they clearly felt the pressure, can't remember who they were playing, but it was, it was a tricky game for them. I thought actually this was a, a very good game of football, in fairness. Yeah. Um, well, maybe from Italy's perspective. I was, I was about to say, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a very good opener. Yeah. From an Italy perspective, in I mean... In terms of watching it, I was like, I'm watching good football. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. And we move, we move on to the next <laughs> And we move. And listen, message to Turkish, because you probably will watch this. We'll see you in the office, bro. <laughs>